Do you know how to build a website? It's a misconception if you think building a website is complicated, requires coding skills, and takes a long time. Creating a website with Burdoo is actually very simple. You just need to drag and drop. Everyone can do it. So, if you want to learn how to create a functional, informative, and aesthetic website from scratch, then keep watching. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see other tutorial videos. Also, click the like button below and turn on the notification bell. Now, first, go to Burdoo.id. You can click to try now to try out the features for free for 14 days. Or if you want to subscribe right away, you can click on the pricing menu. Here, you can choose a package according to your needs. Next, sign up by entering your desired website name, email, phone number, and password. In this step, you will be directed to your website dashboard on Beardoo. A pop-up message like this will appear. Just click Next. During the trial period, you can create your own website using the tools available on Birdoo for free for 14 days. So, if you want to experiment with creating a website or follow our website creation tutorial on Birdoo, you can do it without any cost. However, the website cannot be published yet. If you want to publish it, you still need to buy a domain name for your website. You can choose a plan here. Choose the duration, either annually or monthly, and complete the payment. Please make the payment with the amount specified here using the PayPal method. Click Complete Payment and you will be redirected to the PayPal website. Please log in with your account and follow the instructions on this page. Once done, go to Settings, then Domain Name. For those who are registering for the first time, the default domain from Burdoo will appear. To buy a new domain, click on Buy New. Enter the desired domain name here. If the status is unavailable, it means you can't buy that domain. Please choose another domain that suits your website. Next, choose the duration for one to five years. Click Order and complete the payment. Same as before, click Complete Payment and follow the PayPal payment instructions. Remember that a new domain takes 24 hours before it can be accessed. So if you want to skip the package purchase or domain payment steps, you can go directly to the next step to create the website. Now, let's design the website. Go to Layout, then Edit Layout. This is the default page provided by Birdoo. It contains several sections that you can edit and add to the left sidebar. In this layout editor, we will create our own website page. This time, I'll show you how to create a simple website for a tour and travel service for international customers. We can create a travel theme with additional articles about tourist destinations in, for instance, Indonesia. But feel free to choose your own theme according to your needs. Now, let's focus on navigation. In this section, there is a default navigation section that looks like this. To change its design, click on the settings icon in this navigation section. Now, Click on Change in Design and choose a design that suits your website. Options include Static, Throne, Elegant, and Belt. These design choices can be further customized. I'll choose the simple Throne design for this example. Click Done. Next, pay attention to the links here. These links can be directed to other pages according to your preference. The text of these links can also be changed. For now, let's leave them default. For links like cart and account, I'll remove them for now, and we'll discuss them in the second part, which is how to create an online store with Birdoo. Now, let's go to Display. Here, I'll change the text color to something like this. For the hover text, I'll make it green. And for the text hover background, I'll make it transparent. Moving on to the font type, I'll change it to Roboto. Now, let's go to the logo section and upload your website logo. Adjust the logo size by sliding the slider here. Once done, click Done. Next, we'll add a header below the navigation section in the form of a title text. To make it easier, let's remove these default sections first. Now, let's add a new section. Look for the text section 
Edit this default text and change its content. Since I'll use this text as a title, I'll set its block type to Heading 2 and adjust the font type, size, and color to match your website's theme. And because I'll add an image behind this text, I'll change the text color to white. Next, go to the container, change the background type to an image, and insert the desired image. If you want to upload your own image, click Upload and select the image you've prepared. Adjust the space using the slider here. Now it looks like this. This display can still be enhanced by adding parallax effects, making it more attractive when scrolled, like this. You can also add blur effects or adjust the brightness of the background. So, it looks like this now. How is it? Pretty appealing, right? Next, you can still add animation effects if you want. You can choose from right, left, up, or down. You can also set the duration of the text movement effect. This is optional. If you don't want to add this effect, change the type to none. Or if you prefer other effects, Let's go to the highlight. Add a new section. In the text part, type the word you want to highlight. Now, a sample highlight effect has appeared. You can change its design and color. If the position isn't right, you can adjust it in the settings here, similar to what I demonstrated. Okay, if it looks like this, Click Done, 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 and Save. Next, let's add an About Us section with an image plus text format. To do this, add a new section. Look for the Image plus Text section. The default view looks like this. Now, I'll change the position of the image to the right. Then, upload the image you've prepared. Next, edit this default text. Go to Content, then edit the text here. Adjust the font type, size, and text position. You can also change the text color for specific words or sentences, like this. Click Done, Done, and Save. Next, let's try adding an image plus text about the website story and what it offers. Here, I want to include text and a slide of images at once. To keep it organized, let's add a section group first. Delete the default sections here. Add a new text section. Edit the text and change its content. Don't forget to adjust the font type, size, and color if necessary. Once done, click Done. Now, add a new section below this text and find the Image Slide section. The default view looks like this. You can change this image slide design. There are options like full slider, page slider, perspective card, sliding card, and showcase. Choose according to your needs. Next, replace the default images here. Click on the settings of one image, then click Upload and select the image you want to use. Once done, click Done. Do the same for the second, third, and so on, depending on your needs. If you want to add more image slides, just click Add Section and upload the images. Now it looks like this. Visitors can click on any image, and the images will continue to change sequentially. Or, if you want, you can set it to move automatically. You can also determine the duration here. For example, I'll choose one second. Now, the image slide automatically changes with a one second interval. You can choose 3 seconds, 10 seconds, or 20 seconds, depending on your needs. Click Done, 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 and Save. Next, let's add a list of benefits that potential customers will get using the Feature List section. To do this, add a section group first. Delete all default sections here. 
Then, add a new text section and edit the text. I'll use this text as the title, Our Benefit, with a brief description below. Don't forget to adjust the text size, font type, text color, and alignment if needed. Once done, click Done. Now, add a new section and find the multi-column section. Two default columns will appear. The first column will contain images, and the second column will contain a list of benefits. Click on the settings here, delete the default text, add a new section, and select the image section. Upload the image you want to use in this column. Click Done, Done. Now, let's edit the second column. Delete the default text. Add a new section and choose the Feature List section. Adjust the font type to match the other section parts. Also, adjust the alignment if necessary. Now, add the list of benefits in this text column. You can still adjust the text size and spacing. Next, you can change the icons here. Go to the Icon menu. Click Search to replace it with the stock icon from Burdu, or click Upload if you want to use your own icon. Adjust the icon size and position as needed. Now it looks like this. Click Done, Done, Done. Finally, go to the container and adjust the spacing. Make sure it's not too close to the section above. Click Done and Save. All right, the Benefits section is now complete. Now, let's create an FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions section. This is a list of questions commonly asked by potential customers along with their answers. Just like before, add a new section and choose a section group. Delete all default sections. Add a new text section and change its content to the title of the FAQ. Adjust the font type, size, color, and position to match the previous title text. Now, add a new section and look for the FAQ section. You'll see the default FAQ layout. Now, click on Edit Design. Here, you have several FAQ design options that you can choose from and customize later. You can customize color settings, size, spacing, and more to match your website theme. For example, I'll leave the colors like this. For the first and second fonts, I'll change them to Assistant. The second font is for the text inside each question. So this column can be opened and closed. I'll set the shadow to None, reduce font size, spacing, and border width. Now, for the plus icon here, you can change it. There are many stock icons to choose from, or you can upload your own. Finally, adjust the size. You can either follow these settings or explore on your own based on your needs. Now, let's go back to the FAQ tab. Click on one of the columns and change the text content. The top column is for the question or title, and the bottom is for the answer. Once done, click Done. Do the same for the second and third columns, and so on. Now, it looks like this. Next, let's add a data collection form so that website visitors can send their messages. Add a new section and choose a section group. Delete all default sections. For this form, let's use two columns. Add a new section and choose the multi-column section two default columns will appear. In the left column, we'll add the form title text, and in the right column, we'll add the form body. Now, edit the first column, delete the default section, and add a new text section. Edit the text content. Try to make the display and size consistent with the text above. Also, adjust the text position. Click Done. Now, edit the second column, Delete the default section. Add a new section and choose the Collect Data Form section. Click Edit Design. Here, you can choose various form display options. For example, I'll choose the mini style. Next, to change the text in the input column, click on Settings. You can change the input name. Adjust it according to your needs. 
You can also change the placeholder to match the name of the input column. You can actually change the text and box color of each input. However, I want a minimalist theme, so I'll leave it as default. Please add inputs as needed. Now, let's go to the Design tab. Here, you can customize the display of form parts, such as box color, line color, column width, font size, and more. You can follow my settings or customize them yourself. Once done, go to the Buttons tab. Click on Settings. You can change the button color here. There's also an option to determine where the data from the filled form should go when the button is clicked, whether to Google Sheets, Burdoo Reports, or redirect to WhatsApp. For example, I'll choose to input it into Burdoo so that we have a customer database. Next, in the Form Data section, we can choose where to collect the data. You can create a new one or select an existing form data. For example, I'll name it Customer Travel Data. Click Create. This way, the data filled by the customer can be collected and used for follow-ups, promotions, etc. Now, for the button design, it can also be customized. Starting from the button design, size, font type, and more. Next, let's add an icon to this Submit button. Click Search and choose an icon. Or you can upload your own. You can also change the button text. Now it looks like this. Once done, click Done, 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 Save, and preview the page. Congratulations, your website page is now complete. Since you subscribe to Burdoo, your address and domain are already displayed here. Let's check starting from the website header. The highlight effect appears on the word world as said in the beginning. Then there's the about us section. You can click on the gallery top destination on the right and the image will appear in full. Below that is the our benefits section. For the FAQ section, each question point can be clicked and a short answer will appear. Lastly, there's a form that visitors can fill out. However, it's not ready for sales yet because we haven't added products to the website. We'll discuss this in the next video, along with how to manage the links in the navigation menu, add content to the navigation section, and add calls to action. So, stay tuned. Like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the Burdu channel for more tutorial videos. Also, do follow Burdu's social media accounts for more interesting content. See you!